we're gonna get up close and personal in this one with the grows that's similar to the ffar actually like if there was a weapon i had to compare it to the grows and the ffar are like side and hand, side and side hand in hand super fast pace super good movement ads kind of kind of stuff uh i would argue the ffar has like better iron sights i just almost choked The iron sights may like kind of str stray my opinion in favor of the FFAR, but in terms of like damage, I think the Groza out competes it. I could be wrong on that, but it's just a feel thing, you know? So we are flying. We're gonna get, we're gonna get mixy here. I just got absolutely obliterated. One bursted into the next dimension of dimensions. Um, they're going to be pushing this way. That's just, oh, that's bad. That's bad. This is going to be a close game. I think, I mean, the other team is pushing. I'm going this way. I got to, they're, they're controlling over here. My team's kind of getting pushed back. Hand cannons him. Good shots. Hmm. I think they're going to keep pushing this way. I don't want to give it up. You know, I, they do. They keep pushing this way. I don't think I want to give this up, but there's also the potential here where my team is at. They could eventually spawn behind me. So you got to keep that in mind as well. That's a good kill. It's a good kill out. See, though, but exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to camp, but if they're going to push the same area of the map over and over again, it, there does become a point where there's no reason for me to move like if they're gonna if their strategy is to bull rush one area of the map why would i move want to make sure i keep running over this ammo the worst feeling in the world is jumping into a gunfight not having the correct ammo Sure. Feel Mike. I hear him. Do I hear him? Oh, yeah, I do. Howdy. Again, one burst into a next dimension. That should have been a, a situation where I pull out my hand cannon, actually. Take those longer range fights because that's not what this thing's good at. I didn't build it. I did not build it for, you know, long range fights. It's definitely more of a close range option for sure. Ooh, I, that's kind of a waste of that hand cannon. Not gonna lie to you. I had a lot of bullets in that and I kind of just pissed it away. I think this guy is going to die. No, he's hitting a full flank around my team here. Hello? Hello? Where'd you go? What the hell? I'm bugging. Is this him? What the what? What the what?
That is insane work out of Keefe Mac. That is insane work. I mean, I couldn't even see the gentleman. He was invisible. This guy is hitting one burst kills out of his butt. And he's just, they're elusive. Elusive. I can't even keep track of him. I'm just finding myself chasing. It's probably costing me some kills. They're definitely below me. Oh, they're all below me. Not, not a great sh It's a good showing. Not a great showing, if I must say so. What? Timmy Bank, turn around! I gotta get 10, 11 of the next 18. That's not probable. That's what I'm talking about. That's 45. Hold on. There's a chance. I didn't say a good chance, but there's a chance. Brother, I did it. Oh my God. I can't believe I pulled that out of my butt. Oh, I can't believe I pulled that out. Ladies and gentlemen, that is 53 and 8. That cruise missile. Right at the end of that game came in massive to the kill count. So this Groza was kind of inspired by my previous FFAR build, targeting really what I would say is aggression, using it more like an aggressive assault rifle, not focusing so much on range. And I think I did a pretty good job here. We have great movement speeds and it's very good for aggressive players. So first attaching here is the muzzle brake 762. It's gonna control recoil control, vertical recoil control that with no cons to running it. Meaning for example, if you're going with the Spets S compensator, you are sacrificing horizontal recoil control. So it's gonna, you know, make a bounce around a lot more. So I did like the muzzles break 762 in this particular case. For my barrel, I'm going with the CMV mill spec because it's going to speed up your movement to help your aggression while also speeding up damage. So this is a weird attachment. Not many weapons have this style of attachment and it does a good job. You are sacrificing damage range, but that being said, with how you should be using this weapon, somewhat like an SMG, sacrificing damage range isn't a massive deal. It's still very, very good at 32 meters, as you can see there. For your underbarrel, you are going to want the normal foregrip, again, going with the approach of zero cons while getting 15% to the horizontal recoil control. For the handle, the airborne, or I'm sorry, the grew elastic grab, giving you 30% to aim down sight speed while also flinch resistance and ability to drop shot. And the KGV pad here is a massive part of this build by increasing your sprint fire speed by 50% and then 40% extra on to that aim walking speed so that being said you have aim walking speed via the barrel and now also the socks you're going to be absolutely flying around the map here's all the attachments if you guys wanted to copy these down to give it a try and game make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me as always i'll see you guys in the next one